Hello, I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and check out all my Ghostbusters themed magic videos. Now, I say enjoy the video, I will be telling jokes from the real Ghostbusters gut-busting joke book in this video. So I think you may groan more than enjoy. But um, this book uh, is really old and it's really rare. It cost £1.99 pence back in the day and uh, was published in 1989 by Carnival. So it's a really old and rare book. But anyway, let's, uh, let's tell you some, some of the jokes from this book. So, hey Mr. Ghost, how much would you charge to haunt my dead rival, Perry Paloka? For just £20, I'll scare him out of his wits. Here's £10. He's only a half-wit. Yeah. Let's try uh, another up. Uh, raise rancid riddles. There must be some good stuff here. So, um, what's the best way to buy holes? Wholesale. What do you call a large group of protesting demons and goals? A demonstration. What's the best way to make an ice cream stand? Steal its chair. Why are ghosts very simple creatures? Because they can easily be seen through. What is the most important thing to be if you want to be a ghost? Dead. <sighs> Why do scarecrow? How do scarecrows greet each other? Hey, man. What did Egon say to the kid ghost when he got it in his car? Fasten your sheet belt. How do ghosts like their eggs? Terror ride. Ah, oh, yeah, they're not. Uh, <laughs> hope you're enjoying. How does an electric rabbit greet you? What's up, Doc? How does a fiend welcome you to a crypt? Hello there, let me shake you by the throat. Hmm. Dark for a kids' book. Why did the chewing gum stay on the? Sh what did the chewing gum say to the shoe? Hey, I'm really stuck on you. Uh, let's find another. What do you get if you tear a neck scarf in two? A bandana split. What happened when the boy and the girl tried to kiss in the dense fog? They missed. How do you send a message to a Viking? By Norse code. What do canaries say at Halloween? Twick or tweet. What's the best way to paint a rabbit? With hairspray. Oh god. Uh, gut busting giggles. Okay, so. When I died, I really didn't want to come back as a ghost. Why is that? I wanted to come back as a mattress. Whatever for? So I could lie around on a bed all day. Okay, right, so that's, uh... So Peter says, I hear you're becoming quite famous, Slimer. Slimer says, glug glug, yeah, Peter says, well, a big costume company is using your face and a model for a Halloween mask. There's a picture of Slimer looking at her. Yeah. If you're thinking I'm disliking this video, don't shoot the messenger. I didn't write these. You could have turned off by now. Janine's loopy lyrics. Okay. Slimer was once seized with intent to revise his existence. <coughs> Let me start that again. Slimer was once seized with intent to revise his existence misspent. So he climbed up a dome on St. Peter's in Rome while he stayed through it the following Lent. Okay. Ray grew increasingly peaky in a house where the hinges were squeaky. The ferns called up brown, the ceiling fell down, and all the taps, they were leaky. Egon's balmy books. Uh, what's in this chapter? Oh god, that's just a massive, massive... Uh, well, I, mean, I won't read that. I won't subject you to that. Gut-busting giggles. Alright, so gut-busting giggles. There should be some good stuff with a title like that. What was the ghost doing at the fun fair? Oh, he just wanted a ride on the roller coaster. 
My Aunt Mabel had her face lifted. Oh, how did they do that? Do it. With a piece of rope around her neck. Hmm. My brother Elijah is a panhandler. Oh yes, does he work out in the Wild West? No, he's an orderly in the local hospital. <sighs> are all cricketers superstitious? Sure they are, look at me. I make it a rule always to touch the crease with my bat every time I score a run. <sighs> Peter's Delirious Dictionary. Okay, so this, this, this section just has words with um, strange uh, definitions, basically. So, uh, I'll read the top one here. Earwig. False hair for ears. Egg. A bird's hometown. Electrician. A switch doctor. Hair tonic. A pick-me-up medicine for big rabbits. Icicle. An eavesdropper. Illegal. A mighty sick bird. Ghostwriter. An official spooksman. Gossip. Somebody who has had a great sense of rumour. They don't get better, do they? Politics. A parrot who has swallowed a clock. I can think of another definition for politics, but it's not appropriate for a kid's book. Uh, so, uh, let's do a couple more. Egan, what's the best place to look for a monster snails? At the end of monster's fingers, I suppose. Yeah, so, um, you know what, I'll just remember, it's not a Ghostbusters one, but I always remember um, I was doing a, a party for a friend's uh, kid, and she was um, showing me her Star Wars joke book, and I was reading something, and it's pretty similar, it's awful, but there's always one that stuck out to me, and it was, um, why did the Ewok fall from the tree? Because it was dead. I just always <laughs> find it funny that stuff so dark is in kids' books. But um, anyway, I think I've subjected you to enough of these. Um, yeah, I think I've subjected you to enough of these. I wouldn't recommend it, personally. Um, I mean, if you're someone who has to have everything Ghostbusters like me, you probably need it. If you're buying it just for the joke content, perhaps not. What did you think, Slimer? <laughs> oh well, there you go. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've even made it this far, I can't imagine anyone has. But if you have, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and keep on busting.